And we are live. So last week you guys finished up the uh, Civil War, the Battle of the Bitches in Gregelsturg, solidifying one of the uh, queens as its de facto leader and uh, capturing the other queen as a prisoner. You were well rewarded and you were given a ship to uh, uh, to escort you on the Dark Lake towards your new destination of Blindenstone, where they are currently at war with were-rats. But at this same time, not that far outside of the gates of Gragglesturg, Large amounts of undead have been gathering up and up trying to assault the city. They've already closed down the, uh, the main gates so the undead could not get in. But around those areas there was a uh, large party with currently one survivor. How did you? Uh, let's see if I can pronounce this correctly. Rocknar? Yes, indeed. Alright. Well, you uh, were originally hired to join a expedition with uh, 12 other dwarfs, one halfling trained as a thief, and a uh, old man who is a human who is a wizard. Um, you were going... Uh, the leader of the expedition was Prince Thor of the kingdom, uh, kingdom of Bryn Gurum, and he wanted to reclaim a treasure from his old kingdom that was lost during the Dwarven Civil War 3,000 years ago. As the, uh, as the treasure was lost, as that kingdom was taken over by a large red dragon. Although you started your expedition in the Underdark to reclaim it, uh... You guys were besieged by a beholder who uh, who sadly made a very quick mess of your wizards. Anti-magic field and all. You guys, after uh, fleeing and making a plan with the remaining 14 of you, managed to kill the beholder. Taking a couple of lives, but... Your wizard friend was avenged. Sadly, the celebrations of the victory were not that long as uh, a green mist appeared around you guys. And from the green mist came a large creature of terror. Winged, you could not see it very well, but it held a wand. And as it pointed at the beholder, the Beholder rose again as a flying skull. And as it started anew, it started faring through your uh, your fellow expedition members. And what shocked was more, was that the wizard that died first off of the Beholder, came back anew, in a new form. After about nine of you all fell, and returned back to life at the, when the Beholder just looked at them as his zombie slaves. The remaining of you tried to run for it. You now being the only survivor as the rest got picked off by the undead hordes running around these caverns. As you are currently in these caves. All right. This is where you came from, and that is where you can already hear from afar, the undead are encroaching upon you. I'm, I'm gonna go further. Uh, Feel free to move your character. Try to get out of the cave. Feel free to uh, move here. Yeah. As you see, 
here. The exit is blocked off by a large rock. <laughs> of course. And as you hear, from a far, uh, already closing up on you. Three dwarven zombies approach you. Your former allies, Bomber, Nori, and Keely. I would like you to roll initiative. Uh, okay, go. If you, um, how you do it is you first click your uh, character token. Make sure that's select. Then you go to your character sheet and you just click the button initiative next to the armor class and next to the speed. You are first, as the uh, undead are right, uh, as your former allies are right next to you. Um. Do I hear more approaching? Uh, further away. Much further away. These would probably be the front scouts. Alright. <laughs> I have to, uh, I have to, uh, fight him. So, uh, now we're at it. I will stand my ground. And I move to, uh, here to, uh, hit him. Alright. Or this, I try to hit. Very bad luck if you didn't. In the end, they're just zombies. As the first one, uh, first attack connects right into Nori's face. Nori's jaw falls off and a part of his beard as well. We're doing seven bludgeoning damage. All right. Uh, the second attack. It's Nori again, this time on the shoulder as his arm is dislocated, doing seven bludgeoning damage again. All right. And, uh, yeah. But... Now it's their turn. Yeah. As they start going closer towards you. <laughs> as all three of them try to slam at you. 10 is a miss, 18 will hit, back from Nori, as you take 4 bludgeoning damage. If you click on your token, you can see the, uh, uh, 50, uh, the 54, and you can uh, adjust the damage appropriately. Uh, yeah. You took four, not uh, one damage, but... Or do you have something that uh, gives you extra health? No, it... Uh, it should... Now it should be uh, right. Yeah. Alright, and now the last one. Twelve, also a miss. Bounces off of your shield. Your turn again, Krognar. All right. I attack again. Natural one. 
The jaw missing from Nori's face makes it a no. No, there was no jar, else it would have been a perfect match. Um, and on the natural one, you lose three honor, so that five you have there on your character sheet becomes two. Yes. Now for your second attack. Um... I'm gonna attack again. Hope this will get better. Hope so too. <laughs> Ten. That hits for six damage. As you uppercut him. As his uh, lower... As his upper teeth collapse into his face. <laughs> Doing six damage. Their turns. Or would you like to do something with your movement? Uh, not really. 21 as uh, Keely hits you right in the face for five damage. Then All Harry right. is going to try and attack you as well. 18. Hits you as well for four damage. And then the last one from Bomber. 19 hits as well for three damage. A total of nine. 12 damage on you, Cognar. Your your former um, friends are ganging up on you. Don't do this. It is your turn, Krognar. Got it. Hmm. I use giant bite to get uh, as my bonus action. Mm -hmm. I I will grow one size larger. All right. Done. And I get uh, one day six damage, extra damage on uh, one spatter. All right. Yeah. Big dwarf. <laughs> Big dwarf. As you grow in size, 12 hits, I assume, on Nori. As Nori is reduced to zero hit points, let's see if he comes back. As Nori falls down to the ground, broken for a moment, and then you hear as he stands up again with one hit point. Of course. I oh, completely forgot. Uh, do you want to roll the extra damage for this one or for your next attack? Because the DC would uh -huh. change with the extra damage. Nah. Yeah. Uh, let's say the next attack, Tom. Alright. As you are reduced to zeroed honor. As you change that two into a zero. Can't run out. misses. <laughs> Bad luck on the roll 20, man. Welcome to roll 20. All right, that was fast. Mm -hmm. You are an honorless dwarf. <laughs> yes, indeed. As Keely, Nori, and Bomber's turn comes up. Misses. Uh, misses with Keely. Misses on Nori, and the last one for Bomber. 18 hits for 2 damage. As now from afar, you hear a staff. 
and someone walking closer towards you. Of course! As you can see, your wizard ally, who has returned from the dead, is your enemy. <sighs> ah! Quoknar! Sorry to chat. <laughs> See, I'm resistance is it. futile towards death. The master I... will retrain, as you can see the legions. As he whip, uh, as he wipes with his staff. More undead appear right behind him. All right. As that um, happens, you can hear a voice from the back of them that even surprises them. Hi, guys. Want to see me dancing? As the, uh, as the, um, as the wizard, uh, turns around in surprise as you see a tiny little demon thing. As the, uh, see, uh, he is twerking towards the undead army. da 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 As even the beholder turns around. And looks. Why well, you think that's pretty good, huh? But the boss like that? No, we need to gather things for the army, says Orlean. As even the ones you are fighting with are now distracted. <laughs> as you hear, as you start hear something, or you hear someone tapping on your leg. A little Darrow right next to you, who stinks a lot and is covered in brown paint. Oi! Oi! Can you hear me? Yeah? Big Dwarf! Yeah? I can hear you. Do you want to live? Of course! Then put this bucket of bl uh, uh, brown paint on your face and as much on your body. The undead can't see you if you put it on. Just make sure not to swallow it. But keep all busy. right. I've been standing right next to you all this time and you haven't even noticed. True. Damn. I was occupied. So. Alright, uh, your turn. Did you want to take a turn to uh, cover yourself in brown paint? Yeah. All right, you the brown paint like, stinks so bad. It's like disgusting, but you put it on. You take a full action to cover yourself as with as much as you can. And and Keely, Nori, and Bomber's turn. They turn around and they're like, ah. Oh. The little demon dancer runs into a uh, runs into start, starts dancing, and some of the uh, zombies starts following him as he does uh, the tango. Da 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 da. As he ra walks into a tiny little hole that the undead cannot fit through. In that moment, the uh, the death tire, the beholder, and the uh, wizard, like, Oi! And that! We got some hunting to do! But, uh, where'd he go? Oh, God. Aye! Oi! Orleon! 
He's going to be so mad that we can't find him. Where the hell did he go? <coughs> Alright, spread out and start looking. Just stand still and do nothing. They can't see you. After a while, they give up. <laughs> and remove themselves from the premise. move again I'm Y by the way I'm Grovnar oh Grovnar oh uh, hello I'm Larry the sex machine Gap hello hello you want to see my dance yeah why not don't do it <laughs> As uh, Larry starts, uh, <laughs> starts working around here. It's from another area. Another dwarf arrives with a myconid on her shoulder. They're also both covered in brown paint. <laughs> Greetings. My name is Eldef. And this is why th this little one is tool, but can't talk talk currently. And that's Larry. Don't mind him. Yeah. Yeah, we've been avoiding all these different undead for bloody days now. Yeah. Good arrow. Few thousand, few thousand dead by my friends. Yeah. You know what? I'm just gonna ask my friends if I can teleport to them. Yo, Jamira! Is it safe to teleport? As you hear that in your head, Jamira. Ah, uh, oh, uh, yeah. We're on a board at the moment, though. Oh, I don't see sick. Anyone see sick? Uh, no. No. Nope. Says Larry. And in that exact moment, on your boots, <laughs> arrives a dancing Larry with the rest of the party. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> Hi! Oh! I've missed you so much, all of you! I missed you too, Larry. Mavner! Master! As he starts walking slow motion style towards Fafnir. Baywatch. Oh god. <laughs> anyone Age else have to drop to kick growing? <laughs> As he jumps up to Fafnir and gives him a face hug. Surprised he just doesn't keister his face. <laughs> Anyways. Um... Good to see y'all, except Larry. Yeah. And uh, who is this? Some guy I saved. One thing that all of you on the boat notice is that everyone except Larry <laughs> is covered in brown, in some sort of brown paint, and stinks <laughs> fucking badly. <laughs> Larry, uh, you ask you mess. to cover yourself in shit. <laughs> no brown paint. It helps towards the to avoid undead. They cannot see us when you have the brown paint on you. Are you sure it's paint? Well, Larry said it was brown paint. Yeah. It's shit. It's probably shit. It's ah, shit. it works. <coughs> Might be. We're on a boat anyway, so I'm gonna wash my face now. Yeah. 
Same thing here. I've been telling you it's been shit all this time. But that's <laughs> brown paint! It might, oh boy. Yeah. Believe me, <laughs> says Eldef. I think it's just as horrible, but it worked. You do what you can. Come on, Stu. I'm gonna wash you up. <laughs> Ew! As Larry like, like gives a smell on Fafnir, he stinks. <laughs> I don't want to hug someone that stinks. <laughs> but this is going to be my spot for dancing. <laughs> Fafnir like smells his armpits. Guess I believe I do stink. I am going to go to the lower levels and invent a new type of soup. Man and his soap. You do that! Make that yucky uh, smell get away from you! Na 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 As he's still dancing right here. That was such an urge to spart of this man off the edge. <laughs> He's not mine, so I won't do it. It would be dishonorable to ruin another man's property. One so what bottom fair and square? <laughs> you see, that's the problem. Someone actually bought him. Yes, that is the problem. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Well, I love the day Master Fafnir bought me. Made me, uh, had me as many, many viewers of my dancing. Fall oh, off man. that thing, I'm not saving you. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I think introductions are in order. I, myself, am Jamera. I'm a Grognor. I'm Sakroth. And I'm Brun. So, uh, how'd you bump into our friends there? Um, I was, uh, I joined an expedition, uh, and let's. Say, a zombie uh, in the order got a zombie border and let's just say that uh, we got to feel a uh, zombie and that problems. Man, it sounds like you had a rough week. Yeah. Pretty rough. Call that a normal week here in the Underdark. It's always rough. <laughs> yeah. Can I roll uh, an Akrana to see what I know about some of you boulders? Sure. Do boop boop boop. Nope. Nine. You know nothing. I know nothing. You didn't even hear of beholders. No. So what's this uh, beholder you speak of? It's it's a floating creature with uh, many eye stalks, and those hurt. So and uh, he can shoot eye rays, and uh, those eye rays. Oh, we fought one of those before. They like, yeah, had like four yeah, eyes, right? Yeah, that thing, that, that weird little floaty thing. Yeah. They were saying something about the beholder, right? Yeah. I think that was it. just maybe a baby one, though. It looked like a soccer ball with eyes. Yeah. Sounds about, sounds about right. Yeah, one of those being undead sounds horrifying. Yeah! He was alive! First, he killed it. It became a zombie border. 
So, yeah. Well, seems like you know how to live, then. That or, uh, really the sounds the unfair, mate. If you kill something, it should stay dead. It's really unfair when they come back. Indeed. Goddamn cheaters. Yeah. Well, we were heading to Blindenstone, so uh, hope you don't mind going there. Excellent. That's no. turning around. If you want off, you have to jump. No, I'm good there. Well, glad to have you aboard. Glad to be aboard. I didn't like to be zombie food. I, uh, Aldev, I don't feel so good. You see, sick? Um, does feeling off your balance and trying to. <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Stool tries to, like, uh, uh,. Is on her shoulder and tries to uh, maneuver that she doesn't barf on her hair. <laughs> oh boy! Still with no arms, trying to hold her hair. She can do. Uh, he can. Uh, Still can do one side with this body. <laughs> well, I guess I order this much. I'll go do the other side. Ah uh, man, that looks like oatmeal. Did you eat oatmeal for breakfast? <laughs> We ate some mush mushrooms, but we've eaten them before. And why said they were good? They actually they were good. good. <laughs> That's it's it. This terrain. <laughs> well, we got plenty uh, of good rations. You're, uh, if someone be barfing on me ship. I would prefer I to be doing that on level two from my window. <laughs> or no, level one, better. Doesn't matter if you uh, if you barf over one of the slaves. The ship <laughs> has uh, three levels. Uh, and the lowest level is the uh, where the slaves are that uh, keep the ship uh, moving. Level 2 is where uh, normally everyone sleeps and where the cargo hold is and everything. And then you have level 3, which is just the top side of the ship. You think you can hold it until we get you to a gun port? I, I think I'm empty for now. Alright. I'm along. I'll help her waddle her way downstairs. Uh, she, yeah. Thank you very much. She uh, goes to one of the uh, gun ports. Does not have a gun there, but uh, she uses it as her private barf window. Wrath will reemerge shortly. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, that's not going to change anytime soon, I bet. Are ye seek sickness days? Not something you get used to. Yeah, not too many people get to face it though, because you know, not a whole lot of water down here. True. Yeah. That be true. Still, safest way to travel. Yep. So what kind of creatures ever... live in this dark lake? Other than, you know, small dragons. Yeah, you ever see any sea monsters? Oh, let's see. Quickly getting the uh, book. <laughs> ah, let's go with the list. Uh, aquatic trolls, dark mantles, duagar pirates... Hags, Grells, Ixatrils, Kuatoa, Marrows, Dirges, Quippers, Water Weirds, and Sharks. 
We got sharks. <clears throat> yeah, sharks can live anywhere. Neat. Neat. We also have problems with whirlpool, tight spaces, stone uh, stone thieves, uh, rough currents, rock falls. Yeah, watch out for those rock falls. Low ceilings, some islands popping out of nowhere, waterfalls. Always collision to always a collision problem and sandbanks. And then we haven't talked about the extraordinary things yet. Occasionally ships just disappear because of a giant octopus of starfish. I think, well, I think we met that side. guy. Uh -huh. Oh, did you met Patrick? Yeah, he was a nice uh, guy. Yeah, Patrick's cool. Yeah, he likes turtles. Yeah. Uh -huh. And of course, one time I even saw a sea t uh, a, a dragon turtle here. What? Yeah. Whoa. I thought it was a new island. Wanted to name it after myself. Named it Caro Island. But when I arrived on the island, I was like, the island started attacking back. I was like, oh no, this is a problem. That sounds so I cool. I escaped it just with my trusty flute here. I'm going to roll insight real quick. All right. I like to believe him. Wow, that's an amazing flute. <laughs> oh, man. Nice flute. Yeah. So what we, I mean, what I did with my it? men when I, when we entered on the island, we were with ten. One by one, they were missing. When the, when, uh, after two disappeared, I knew something was wrong with the island. As we walked around and saw, I actually stood on top of the, the luck would have it, I stood on top of the dragon turtle's head. As I did my little flute sound, I did this special note that would instantly make the dragon feel asleep. We've luckily found, underneath, uh, like right beneath where his shell was and his head, I found a little bit of treasure. That's how I bought my fifth boat. You have four other boats? No, this is number nine. Oh. Oh. That is, that's One so to amazing. Eight has been destroyed. Oh. Uh -huh. Don't worry. They, they all destroyed epically. Get me some very more uh, large amounts of honor from that. So uh, I think you can teach me that note, just in case we ever encounter this dragon turtle island. Sure thing. <coughs> you have a flute? Yep, yeah, right here. Put uh, pan flute. Oh, he's going to try and make a performance check to see if he can redo the flute uh, note. Oh, oh, no. That was not good. Damn! How did I do it again? Let me try again. Eh, maybe some other time. Damn! Rolls the same. I'm sorry. <laughs> it was the greatest flute note in the world. But I can't remember the greatest flute note in the world. Actually, hmm. Might help you remember the bit of magic. Now I cast Enhance Ability on him. As it uh, goes off, uh, I would uh, like to everyone to make a constitution check. Or save, 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 oh. save, constitution save. All right. Damn it, Larry probably passed. <laughs> Uh, control me a d20 plus 4. Machine's not working. Alright. I will. 
16. Thank you. Doesn't even say you're in here. If I want to restart. Yeah, getting rid of our death now. As, uh, as, uh, as Baroon, your ears hurt a little bit from this sound. As you get a bit doozy. There you go. That was it. Although dragon, dragon ears are a little bit more sensitive than dwarven ears. I will remember this note always. It works for all dragons? Yeah. Haven't had to use it. Did encounter a uh, bronze dragon here uh, somewhere too. Made a trade with it. Oh, neat. Yeah, it would, fight, uh, it would fight on our side during one of the drow campaigns. That's how I lost a couple of my other ships. We had a plan. I had large amounts of explosives. Put all my explosives into the ships. And then we rammed straight into the drow fleet. So fire ships. Mm -hmm. And then it's red? Oh, those are dead. You are so badass. I know. How many campaigns have you been in? I uh, shit. Well, lost four ships. Four, five. Uh, I forgot the amount, but more than twenty. Dang. Now our pesky problem. Thing is, the main, uh, the main reason is the the king wants Menzo Beringsen back, because whoever get if Menzo Beringsen ever becomes a dwarven city again, that would be the lighter to restart the dwarven the dwarven empires of old. Hmm. Sadly, the Drow are very good at protecting it. Do you know where it is? Menzo Beringsen? Yeah. Although, uh, you'd have to fight for waves and waves of Drow. I'm but sure one day. Going, yeah, can... one day, maybe. But. We first have 13 days uh, to travel by foot, and you have then 7 days remaining traveling by foot to get to Blind and Stone. As he uh, puts out a uh, large spyglass and looks around. Oh, that does not look good. As he's uh, looking at uh, Larry's ass, that's like the most disgusting thing I've ever seen. Larry, Just give back the down. word, Captain. We'll throw him overboard. Back downstairs, Larry. <laughs> but something behind the guy. It's also equally terrible. Oh god, what is it? There you go. Oh. I'm a three terrible things. Three fire giant ships are sailing right across us. You can see the lights in a couple of seconds. Uh -oh. I'm sorry, did you say fire giants? Uh -oh. Yes, he yeah, did. fire giants. So, if we're lucky, because their ships are so big, they won't notice us. But if we're unlucky... They will notice us. And somewhere in the middle, their ships could cause a bunch of tidal waves that are also very annoying. Make sure you don't fall in the water. Got it. I uh, I uh, will go a little bit uh, more uh, towards uh, the midsection. the ship. Mm -hmm. 
Now as, you're clo as the fire giant ships are closing in on you, you can see the uh, you can see the bright light coming from it. These ships are made of some sort of wood, but a large part of them is also on fire. Oh. But the wood does not seem to be affected by it. As you, uh, as you, uh, as you uh, start getting closer, one of the ships, uh, the first ship moves uh, past you, the second ship and the third ship. But as that happens, tidal waves come. And I would like you all to roll initiative. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, we'll be fine. Oh boy. We'll not be fine, guys. We're going to die. <laughs> but I got a crit, so everything's alright. Finally. Don't forget that, your honor. Nope. Still on the red bar, uh, Jimera? Fimo? Uh, maybe his internet died or something, I don't know. Uh, yeah, still, still bad. Aww. And I'll do the initiative for you. Well, a crit, damn it. It was working so well, like, an hour ago. of the internet. One of those things we take for granted. I don't think modern society would function anymore if it just outright died. It depends. I think plenty of old people will do just fine. Yeah, but they won't do fine for long. Because they're like, old. Uh... Like people in developing nations. <laughs> That's true. Those who haven't like experienced it and don't make livings off of it and aren't relying on it will be fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'll be right back. Demon cow. He's actually gonna fight with us. Alright. Now that's I'm first sure off, that. a tidal wave comes. And uh and it hit and it as it hits the entire boat, the boat starts shaking. You get hit by the tidal wave, and everyone can make me a strength saving throw. Rolled your strength safe. Thank you. It was a nine, which is a failure. Uh, let's see the rest as well. Safkaroth and, uh, 
And Maroon have made it, so uh, you only get half damage from this tidal wave hitting you. So, uh, Safkarov gets two and Baroon gets two damage. Everyone else gets four damage. As you are swiped away by the wave of water. As you... Um, uh, Krognar, you can roll me a d6. You can do that by going to the uh, upper uh, left, and there you see the uh, little thing that looks like a D20. If you click on that, then a bunch of dice will appear that you can click. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, this is right? Yeah, the number three, you are moved to here, all the way here. In the water. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, then for Jamira. You there, Timo? Timo? Roll for it. You've been moved together! <laughs> Bye! Larry was also in fuck the push, thing. Fuck, push, 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 Larry has also been moved. One. He's here! Ah! And then the captain? <laughs> He's been moved to here. And as that happens, I only have to roll 1d4 more. Four! Oh, bad luck for the people on the ship. As. Tidal wave also put some creatures on the ship. Suddenly sharks. Sharks that were in the tidal wave and are now on your ship. Good God. As Varun, you are first. Just wanted to hear stories about to be part of the. Alright. Well, um. I use my action to activate my, uh. Channel Divinity. So you guys get an extra d6 plus. Uh, five at the end of your turn, and uh, I don't think I have a bonus action right now, so I guess that's my turn. All right. Yeah, that's my turn. As it is then Larry's turn, as Larry points at one of the sharks. And says, Oi! Don't bother me, friends! As he uh, puts his head down in the water. And only his butt cheeks uh, pull out as he's swimming towards the sharks and you guys. 
as he uses horrible sight on one of the sharks. Well, that's definitely horrible. <laughs> yeah. But the shark is not intimidated. Do you grant Larry uh, temporary hit points, uh, Perun? Sadly, yes. So he gets uh, 10 now, right? Uh, yeah, 1d6 plus 5. Then it is a shark's turn. This one will attack Safkarov. I'll try and bite you. Alright. 23 will That'll hit for 13 piercing damage. Jamera, your turn. Alright, I'm going to cast enlarge and try to start swimming. Alright. If you don't have a swimming speed, your movement is halved. Yeah. Uh, would I be able to get, uh, still trying to learn his name? Grokshar? Rocknar. Rocknar. Can you maybe change your uh, uh, roll 20 name? To uh, your character name? Because we all have that and it's easier that way to see who is who. Uh, how do I do that? Uh, you uh, you see the little option wheel, right? On the upper right side of the screen. Alright. Uh, that's something... <laughs> Looks like a cock wheel. Yeah. If you click that, then you and then, then you have my settings, and then it has display name. Yep. And that 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 you change to your uh, character name. That's easier for everyone to see, I think. Large form would I be able to drag Tarkanar a bit, or would that reduce speed yeah, even more? Uh, that's no problem. Put him on my back, start swimming. That is all I can get, though. Alright. Then another shark's turn. This one's next to Baroon, and it will try and bite Baroon. Yep. 22 will hit for 15 piercing damage. Okay, that's a lot of damage. <laughs> These things hurt! Sharks! And the next shark will go for Safkarov. We'll try and bite him. Seven. That's a miss. Ragnar, your turn. Seven. Seven. Yeah. Eight. You know what? I use my bonus action to change bite, and uh, I change. Uh, I also change size. Oh God. <laughs> Very Very so, swimming in heavy armor has got to be rough. Yeah. And uh. Stro Stro I got to swim. That'd be cool. Uh. I'm just gonna go to a full swim. Half movement. With half movement, uh, I, will, I will I will use my action to move also move from. Um. All right. You move twenty five feet with a dash, right? Yeah. yeah. And Safkarov, it is your turn. Alright, first option is to rage. Yes. Alright. Then I will attack uh, the shark to my... I'll attack the shark above me. Uh, I will 
not do reckless. These guys hurt. Ooh. So this is normal. 13. 13 hits for 17 damage. And second attack. 28 will hit as well for 18 damage. All right. And that'll be in my turn, and I will take some temporary hit points. Captain, who is actually trained in swimming, no, he's not, my bad, will also dash towards here. What kind of captain doesn't know how to swim? Every captain. The dwarven one. <laughs> Fair point. His logic is, if your boat sinks, where are you going to swim to? <laughs> That's actually a thing that they, uh, during World War II and World War I in the British Navy, most of the uh, Navy men couldn't swim. Because, like, the argument was, well, if the ship sinks, where are you going to swim to? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Alright, now was the captain's turn. Then it is uh, the last hunter shark turn. As the shark waggles like this towards Safgaroff. And then dashes to Safgaroff. I will attack him. Shink. 14 will hit. That was the shark's turn. Now we're at a new round as a new wave cometh. Let's Goodbye, see. sharks. Alright, and then uh, strength save for everyone on the boat. I'm now raging. So advantage. Mm -hmm. 26. Yeah! Safgaroth only takes uh, one damage, and Baroon only ta takes two damage, but Baroon, you can roll me a d6. Take it on the temp HP. Yep. Three. Welcome to the back. <laughs> Don't leave me with the sharks, no! <laughs> now let's see if the sharks actually make the save. Nope. Oh no. Yes. And yes. Nope. Ah. Oh, wrong dot. As Varun, there's a shark right behind you. All right. Well, there's me right in front of him. Right. And they both... And they And you notice more movement in the water. As there are also some quippers in the water. Oh, this is great. Oh, God. Maybe the sharks and quippers hate each other. Uh... And Safgaroth, you on the ship can, uh, as the uh, fire giant ship is uh, passing you, you uh, recognize three ladies on the ship, and they see you as well fighting the sharks as they wave. Hmm. I blow my kiss. Wow, wow, wow. They, uh, are they, one of them... Uh, tries to like catch it and put it on her mouth but before she does that the other two like grab her hands like no I wouldn't 
nine one. As these horrible, ugly ladies who recognize the inspiration if you still know their names. I don't. I know what they are, though. They're the uh, hags. Yeah. Kathy Tearhand, Susan Fleshtooth, and Veronica Toad Sister. On They're the, the ones who helped me out a while ago. As Susan has has caught your kiss and received it. Now, first off, with the new initiative round, are the are the quippers. <laughs> the quippers are right next to you, Jamera, as they will try and bite you. Nineteen. Oof. Yeah, that's that's gonna do it. Wait, no disadvantage because of the thing. Rookie's hat. Oh yeah. Sixteen. So, uh, cutting words. That. Eh. Ha ha. Nine. That is a miss. I assume. Yes. Now it is. All right. Then it is your turn, Baroon. All right. Uh. Hmm. I don't have a swimming speed, so I probably have disadvantage on. The sharks and the quippers. Mm -hmm. It might be smartest to get back to the boat right now. So I. Uh, do I need to roll a save or something first if we're in the water or not? No, no, because no, I'm wearing heavy armor. No, uh, there's a variant rule that you that you uh, sink so many feet per turn if you if you're in heavy armor, but I'm not using that one. Oh god. Uh, I guess I'll dash towards the boats, trigger opportunity from both the uh, uh, equippers and the shark. So one, two, three, four, uh, five, first, and then one, two, three. Yeah, do you have a swimming four. speed? Well, I was asking about movement impairing, oh, so no, no, I... I meant uh, with uh, the, uh, the uh, in water you always have uh, sw uh, half, movement. half movement unless you have a swimming speed. The, uh, I have heavy a arm speed. The heavy armor, there is a variant rule for heavy armor. Uh, okay. I thought you no, meant sorry. that. No, sorry. I understand. Um, well, I'm pretty fucked, so uh, the shark can make a deck save for a sacred flame because I don't really know what else to do. Failed it! Got seven radiant damage, and that's my turn. All right. And it is Larry's turn. Larry will pull out his butt and do a horrible sight at the shark right next to you, Baroon. Leave him alone! Leave my friends alone! And it failed it, taking three psychic damage. And its next Which attack will be that with disadvantage. The uh, one below that's uh, right next to Baroon. Thanks. And now the Something shark better. at your staff, Garof, will try and bite you. Right. 20. That hits. For five damage. That takes on my temp HP. I got one temp hit point left. And then it's your turn, Jamera. Alright, gonna try to move away. As you do not take an opportunity attack because the reach of the quippers is zero feet. Oh, for swarm yeah. And I'm going to point at that swarm to the right. The one right above the shark and say I don't have to say anything, just cast a spell. They're fish. They're stupid. Cast enemies abound. Ooh. Make intelligence save. Actually, this is, this is work on uh, swarms. Let me check. This is a creature. Uh, no swarms don't count as a creature. Okay, I'll point at the shark then. Just yeah. Let's 
let's see intelligence save for the shark that is a minus three I, and i'm back to being medium but the shark has all enemies around him and if something even en other enemies they provoke attacks off to me from it it's got to take it so hopefully that'll deal with the quippers that is all oh and uh bonus action inspire baroon you got this bro just try to get away yep that is all then it is Croknar's turn <laughs> yeah That's the thing. I'm used to the water. Don't worry, many people are. And that is very true. I think I go. I will move to the boat again. Alright, that was a dash. Would that be Indeed. A so that would be my turn. And a shark on the boat will try and bite Safkara. 21 will hit for 7 damage. One and there, six here. The shark will go to Captain, try and bite him. Yeah. Eleven misses the Captain. Ah! <laughs> now it's a Quipper's turn. His Quipper will... Let's see what does the enemy is. The uh, Quippers don't have to attack the shark, right? I know, there's the shark. That will attack everything, just the yeah. closest creature to it. But here's the thing, the shark is they... bleeding, and the quippers have two potential targets. Either the shark, or Baroon. 1-2 is the shark, 3-4 is Baroon. The quipper will attack the shark. 10 is a miss on the shark. Safgroff, your turn. Alright. So the ships have already passed this by, so we probably don't have to worry about any more tidal waves, right? Uh, no, the uh, the ship with the three hags on it is still uh, right next to you. So that oh. still waves are coming from that one. Okay. Uh, then I will continue attacking at normal. Uh, first attack will be on the one above me. That'll hit and kill it. Second attack will be, uh, well, obviously, on the last one next to me. And then a polearm strike. And that one is still alive. Ooh. And uh, that'll be my turn. Alright. And these quippers... These have it that Baroon is closest to them, so they will attack Baroon. 15 is a miss. The captain. Some away, you magnificent bastard. Well, uh. Daggers don't give disadvantage in the water, so, uh. That's he's gonna cool. try and stab the shark <laughs> three times. God damn bloody sharks! As he hits ones with 19, doing 5 damage, and the other done hits him right in the eye with 6 damage, doing 11 damage total on the shark. Now it's this shark here. Uh, 
sees everyone as an enemy now. So there are four potential, uh, two targets within its reach. Yeah, One, just... two, it will attack the swarm. Three, four, it will attack Baroon. Would that be a uh, correction with the spell? Yeah, it's just uh, choose never has to choose a random target within within its range. All right. So yeah. One, two, swarm. Three, four, Baroon. Goes for the swarm. Huzzah! No. Misses the, the misses the swarm. Oh. As we're in a new round, Safkarov, another tidal wave appears from the ship. Strength save for you. Fifteen. Fifteen, you made it. As you get five becomes two damage. There we go. And the shark fails it and dies from the impact of the tidal wave. Alright. Now it's these quippers. These quippers will move to here. Also having two potential targets. But we'll go for you, Baroon. Eleven is a miss. Baroon, your turn. Alright. Um I take the I take the dodge action and turn. Alright. Larry Stern. Okay, the ball around me. Tries and helps out again on the shark. Shark makes it. That one is dead. Jamira, your turn. I'll continue summoning up. Oh, shout out to Baroon. Baroon, get out of there. The shark can take care of the fish. You just gotta get away from him. He's influenced by magic. And take my action to dash. Yeah. Alright. That's gonna be it. And Krognar, your turn. Uh, I'm trying to get up the ship. If you use your ship. dash, that would be no problem. The dash, of course. Something like that. Welcome aboard! Yeah. The others still in the mouth out. Ah, oh, damn it. This one is gonna go for the captain. Misses horribly. And then the quipper, this quipper will go for the shark. Misses. Safkarov, your turn. Can only get in range of one of the quippers. So I'm gonna go for the shark. Ba -ba -da -da, charger! I do gun! I will attack recklessly. Whoop! 17, 17 for 25. As that connects, heavily wounding the shark. Captain, if you don't get back on this ship, we're all gonna die here. Aye! But we first need to get rid of the shark. Very well. That's my turn. Alright, the Quipper. This one will go for Baroon with disadvantage. Miss. The Captain will do three dagger attacks on the, uh, on the shark. And with two of them, he already hits the shark. And 
and tries to move further towards the ship. And this last one, it will go for a quipper. Hits. Goes for Baroon. Misses. Baroon, your turn. Uh, yeah, dodge action again. And you hear what the Jamira said? Yeah, but there's a lot of quippers too. And ah, I see though. Uh. You'll be fine, guaranteed. Sure. I will uh, try to s swim away. Trigger opportunity attack from probably three people. One, two, three, four, five with a dash. Mm -hmm. The quippers. One of them hits for 15 damage. Then the Cut shark. It on the first one. All right. Oh. Still hits. No worries. I'm back. And the shark misses. Alright, that's my turn. Maybe we'll get lucky and Larry will be eaten. And with that, with the quipper, uh, with the sharks going for the quippers, and the quippers now going for the sharks, as that is the closest target. Uh, forgot about these. Oh no! <laughs> As they're drifting somewhere here. <laughs> I thought they were tied down there! My stuff! Put them on the top floor. <laughs> you guys are now safe from these guys. Still got tidal waves though, so we have to worry about. Those have ended, but you notice that uh, your uh, your door and your anvil are uh, going into a strong current. Yeah, my stuff. We need that stuff. Get your stuff. I'm working on it. The initiative's still up. Uh, don't worry, Safgaroth! You can do it! Get your stuff back! And he's gonna try and do a help action by doing a performance. Oh no. Which is a failure. As you, because it is a 12, so you get a minus one on whatever ability check you do next. <laughs> Larry is a failure. I just avert my eyes. Trying to do two things at once, not look at Larry and trying to save my stuff. Jamera! Bonus action inspire Sat Groff. Thanks, thing. buddy. And. <laughs> do you want to help action for me or nah? <laughs> no, I got it. Alright, alright. I'm yeah, still raging. Right. I'll move and dash. Yeah, so close. Ragnar, do you want to do anything? Um, can I reach Jamera? Sure, you can lift him out of the water. Then I'm just gonna lift him out of the water. Alright, whoop. Oh, and... Here's a question, uh, real quick. I just remembered something. Didn't you go big against those other enemies and then shrink on the ship? I don't know how many times a... Uh... A rune uh, knight can do that. Yeah, that's fair. I, I don't know either. I've never uh, played a rune knight. I can do that uh, three times now. Ah. ah. So yeah, I one time. Pretty good. Yeah. I like that. Yeah, I. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I think that 
to beat Krognar's turn. Yeah. And then Safkaroth. Well, I got a 40 foot move speed in water, so 30 here. Grab my stuff. I'll take a dash. Bay room's fine. I'd like you uh, to make an athletics check as they current as at that point precisely the current is becoming faster. Yes. Uh, athletics at advantage because I'm still raging, and I'll Great roll stuff. that d6 because memes. 27. You have your stuff. 26 because of Larry. And I go this way. Oh, it's a D8 for inspiration. Uh, yeah. Let me roll it right then. Roll I don't one. need it. This is overkill. But there it is. It's principal, damn it. It is. 29. Actually, if I could undo my movement real quick. If you're cool with it. Sure. I was here. Paddle up to here and tell him to get on the damn surfboard. <laughs> and it, then uh, that'll be my turn because I'm actually to pick up the stuff. I can't also put him on uh, to wait till his turn. Yep. That the combat is over as you are safely on the ship. Suppose I could. Uh... Uh, I'm sleepy. Goddamn fire giants! Yeah, where are they going okay. anyway? Um, the only way they could go is back to Gragglesturg if they're going here. Why are they going to Gragglesturg? Maybe Fortress? I don't know. Shouldn't be welcome Didn't... there. Uh oh. They're going for an attack run. That's the only option left. Well, then be the stupidest attack run I've ever seen with just three ships. I think I should send the queen a message just in case. Coming enemy think? ships, prepare defenses at the at the dock. Yeah, take the copper wire. Bubble blower, send a message to the queen. Alright, send me the words. <laughs> Alright. Three fire giant ships coming your way. Don't know what motive is. It's just you be prepared. Also, Captain is awesome. That's it. Alright, she will reply back. I know I was expecting them. Seven words. You're Ta taking care of dragon problem. It's twelve words. Uh, uh, nine words left. Or no, no. No, 13 words left. Let's see. Uh, trying to destroy old grudges. That's 17. And last. Uh, why do you think I assigned them? To you guys. Exactly 25. <laughs> Assigned him to us. Oh, uh, the captain. Yeah. This captain is awesome. Oh, the captain. Yeah. Oh, okay. So... I also saw the hags on that ship, and last I checked, they were trying to get real cozy with that. What was that guy, the Prince of Lust? Wait, they're on the ship, what? Yeah, they're on that ship. Oh, wow. I, mean, I think they were trying to, like, get with the Prince. This might be a trap. Hmm. Well, only one way to find out. 
Just gotta wait. Not much we can do on the boat. She can send another message. At least tell her to be wary of those three. Ah, uh, well, apparently she ordered the fire dines to help out with things, but right. But she know. probably doesn't know about the hags. Yeah. Hmm. Well, I can send messages again tomorrow. I'm tapped out for those at the moment. Damn it. All right. If tomorrow's the soonest, we'll just have to hope Crackle Sturk stands for at least a day. Crackle Sturk has stood for 3,000 years alone. It's going to take more than three fire giant ships to take it down. It's not the ships I'm worried about. But you I have a point. Good. So, because the ship has food supplies and everything, you guys do not need to make... Uh, there's only one check that needs to be made uh, to... Uh, to travel the Dark Lake in your current position. And that would be either a, a survival check or a navigator's tools check. Uh, the captain can do it or you guys could do it. Um, it would be uh, the captain has a plus six on his navigating tools. If someone can do better, they can be the navigator. I can't beat that. Yeah, seems the captain's the way to go. Yeah. Eldeth has yeah. good survival too. What's her survival? You know, when she's not puking. And she would be doing it with disadvantage though. Yeah. When I can check. She has a plus five to survival. I think it's her second best bet should something happen to the captain. So enhance ability on the captain. <laughs> yep. Don't right. want to get lost. You're so useful, Jamara. And with a 15, you have a good day of traveling with navigation. You don't have to remove any rations because you can eat from the, uh, the uh, ship rations. Also question, uh, I forgot if I said it last session. But uh, the captain has a sending stone, or two sending stones, and he can give one of you to uh, one of them to you, so you can communicate with him when, when you're not on land. the ship. I think you said something about that. I put down yeah. something so I didn't know who it was for. Ah. He had to give to a thane or hammer thane or something. So we all get a long rest. All get a long rest now. As day as uh, you're now, as we now arrive at day two. I'll wake up Jamer, crack a dawn, and I'll be like, "All right, buddy, do me the favor of telling the queen I'm worried, and then I'll leave you alone." All right, all right. So, okay, so what's the message gonna be? I got 25 words to use. Uh, saw a few. Uh. Hags on the ship. They are last known consorting with the lust enemy. Enemy, uh, or y y you could sum that up, I think, can't you? How many words was that? One, See, two, one, two three. Be extra cautious. Signed, uh, Sackroth. There you go. That's a 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Thanks. 19. Alright. Is that it, or you want to yeah, add something it. else? All right. uh, that's all I got, man. I just want to get that out, hopefully get uh, get on top of anything that happens, but that's it. So, 
beginning of the day, I cast Sending. I'm also going to mark a downtime day for the thing I talked to you about. Alright. Hey, do you still got that tail? Uh, hold up, I'm on the line. So just wait, wait a second. That's right. Saw a few hags on the ship. They are the last known consorting with the Lust Demon Prince. Be extra cautious. Sign Safgroff. Thank you very much for the warning, Safgroff. I will keep that in mind. And have my dark shaft look around on the ship. I, I, that's as good as we're gonna get. Uh, what were you saying? Uh, you want a piece of cheese? It's tasty. At least for you, I think. Doing oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, still got that tail. Yeah, sorry, buddy, but since you got it, you may as well enjoy it. Uh, I think I'm gonna try to pass. Okay, I respect your uh, will not to indulge. Hey, Safkarov, can I have oh, some no. of my mama's cheese? No, Larry, you cannot. But my mom made it! And I bought it! Uh, I, I can trade it for you for a dance. <laughs> Absolutely not! Two dances? No! Three? Mm -mm. Four? Look, I'll give you one, but only because you tried to help us last fight, alright? Catch. Oh, thank you. Mama's cheese. Nom, 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 nom. There we go, duck cheese. So, uh, what you think of that new guy, Krakenar? Well... I don't know what to think, really. He can go big, and he can go... And, like, he was big when he arrived, and he went small, and he can go big again, so he can at least do it twice. Yeah, seems he's a magic user, of sorts. Of some sort, yeah. Thanks Would I be able to make an arcana to tell more about his, uh, magic? I'm not- I don't know much, so... I don't know, I don't- as DM, I don't know anything about Ruin Knight, so, uh, sure you can, but... Alright, that's fair. I guess I'll try and roll one and just ask you questions, if that's okay. You cool with that, Karknar? Yes. Oh, cool. 21. Yeah, you know every, uh, you know uh, everything from uh, level uh, from level one to level twenty uh, possible abilities. All right. Uh, uh, you know that I can. Uh, that I'm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you know that I've uh, runes on. A weapon? Uh, do you know Giant? Well, no, I do not know, know Giant. He at least knows that it is Giant written down on those things. Alright. Then, then I think you just know that I have a rune that is kind of special. And on my uh, shield and on my weapon. You know that I can uh, at least grow uh, bigger sometimes. Yeah. Are you restricted to putting these things just on your weapons, or can you put them on other people's weapons? Um, just on my own. Man. Just on my own stuff. But they can be pretty helpful. Yeah, uh... What can I say more? Uh, 
Well, maybe we can end up recruiting him. He might be useful if he can fight like that. Especially going big. I didn't, that's just it. I didn't see him fight. Hmm. Well, yeah. I did. Fought off an entire zombie horde. Da, 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 da. Entire and horde. An evil, and an evil necromancer. I at least fought a few zombies. Maybe see what he's up to uh, today. I give him a chance to shine. I like him, though. All right. All right, let's go see everyone else. Oh, yeah. Larry. Yes, Captain? If you want a dancing audience that uh, is forced to keep looking, you go to the uh, third level or the lowest level, and that's where the slave roars are, and uh, they are not allowed to look away. Oh, God. Oh, that is <laughs> fabulous! As he quickly disappears. <laughs> no, at least he's not our problem. <laughs> um. <laughs> so, morning, guys. Good cycle. So, uh, how are we looking on directions? Ah, oh, well, let's see. I'm gonna do my navigation. Because, uh, just an advice. No ship in the Underdark uses their anchor on the Dark Lake. So you just drift around when you're asleep. And, uh, then you have to re-navigate your new position. Okay, makes sense. Need some help with that, or...? Sure thing, if you're available. I'll enhance ability. And it helps again. Same roll. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> ah, 15 is good enough. Sakurai's gonna make sure his stuff's good and tied down this time. Or maybe not on the top <laughs> level. <laughs> All right, he goes downstairs and ties it off there. The rest of the day uh, goes off without any problems as you take another long rest, as it is uh, a uh, it uh, b the, as the end of a cycle is there, and you wake up the next morning. Alright, day three, another navigation check. Another hands ability. And that helps again as day three goes off without any problems whatsoever on the ship. Seems quite peaceful on the Dark Lake. Which is really strange as you're, uh, as you're, uh, as you're on a lake and it's, the only thing is that you first you can see is what, how far your dark vision allows you. But, and you can't see in the water cause it is way too, uh, way too muddied. But it stays peaceful. Day four. I know, man. It is. It's pretty strange. Bitch, so, I'll, I'll be. I'll be honest. It's a. Uh, it's, it, it's a nice feeling once in a while. Yeah, but when it goes too long, it's kind of like gets paranoid. Start getting antsy. Sometimes you just gotta hit something. 
You wanna punch me? Eh, nah. Alright. This. As uh, the captain has to make a new navigation check. Uh, enhance ability. All right. Uh, guys. Yeah. Twelve. He made it. So I've been uh sending a message to a contact of mine, and uh, apparently it's the uh, I think the Drow are uh, following us. You know the ones that enslaved us. Oh. Yeah. That makes too much sense. Don't know where they are, just know that they're apparently following us on the ship. On the ship? We're no, on the, well, on we have ship. Us being on the ship and they following us. If they were on this ship, we'd find them. Do a quick scan yeah. with sea invisibility, would you, buddy? I'm gonna go find Elda, see if she can get around the crow's nest. She can look around long enough to see anything. Hey, Captain, you got a spyglass? Sure. I think we're being followed. No problem. Here you go. Although I do one back. All right. I'll try to look around. Perception check. Ooh, boy. Hey, that's good. You can see from, uh, if you look into your uh, spyglass from afar and as like uh, more than a thousand feet away, you can see through uh, one of the glowing mushrooms next to it, you can see the, uh, the drow ship following very slowly behind you as you see Ivara on, on the top of the ship very frustrated as the, uh, the men are all roaring to try and keep up with you guys on a slow speed target acquired nice yeah, they're following us so, uh, what kind of weapons you got, Captain? You're really, uh, this be a, uh, non-violent ship. You are me weapons. Shit. Alright. They are going at a slow speed, though. Arr. Mm, probably wait till we're off deck. Jump our ship. Arr, uh, I'd be thinking... Because of your flag, it would be considered a war crime to attack us. Later deals with the uh, thing, so yar, that be it. They'd be waiting until you are not on me ship anymore. Yeah, they hate us, by the way. What if, what and don't you they hear us out, if it is a war crime to attack us while we're on the ship, why don't we go slow down and antagonize them? Or sail up right up to them and like show our butts or something? Let them know that we see them. Airship shaking down the uh, stairs. Send them shaking. Larry. <laughs> Send them <Not> Larry. <laughs> Send them Larry. As the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the trap door opens up and Larry's butt comes out first. Did I hear showing but? God damn it. <laughs> You're worm All right, listen, Larry. We're being followed by an enemy ship. They're going pretty slow at the moment. There's a big piece of cheese in it for you. You managed to, I don't know, do something. Be you. Be you. Go on that ship and be you. There's I no give it to you in advance. Being me than me. Yes. If you get him off our trail and manage to meet up with us, I'll give you another piece. But right now, here's a big piece. I hand him like two piece of cheese worth like two pieces. Go take care of it, buddy. Pat him on the shoulder. <laughs> this is the best use I've ever thought of for cheese. So, uh, 
as Captain Garrow says. We're turning around, going straight for them, then dropping off Larry on their ship, and then <laughs> turning right back at. Right? What if they That's kill about Larry, some of it. He's still half near his property. Fafnir doesn't keep him like a slave, I don't think. If Larry wants to do it, Larry will be happy to. If it's so, they're gonna kill him. I don't think they're gonna kill him. How many enemies have we fought and nothing's killed Larry? Ah, <laughs> uh, fair point. They're scared shitless of him in like five minutes. <laughs> na, 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 na. I get the show of my booty. Put the booty. You got this right, Larry? Yar! Chance All to show right. off my dancing! I'm never gonna pass that up! Alright, okay. we got this! They're over there by that mushroom over there. Oh, the, the boat first has to take a turn. <laughs> Alright, Sorry faster. if the six is off course. Faster! <laughs> as it goes faster, and uh, as you come closer and closer towards the... Uh, towards the ship. Yeah, uh, like they figure out a little bit too late that you guys are onto them. And as Ivara sees it and sees you guys, you collision course. And the captain makes a move with the ship. As Larry jumps upon the ship, <laughs> right on the to the uh, uh, to their uh, to the head of their ship, runs at Ivara, jumps at it. Ass first, right in their face, right with her nose. <laughs> makes a fart. Brown paint. <laughs> the, the, then makes a uh, back roll on towards her back. Runs towards the other side of the ship. All the other drow that are just looking at it with their jaw dropped. <laughs> as he jumps back on towards your ship. <laughs> Alright, that's good enough. <laughs> Let's get out of here. <laughs> what? What, what did we do, guys? I don't care. Man. Yeah, like, uh, Ivara's nose is completely covered in the infamous brown paint. And she's just I quiet. told you it was shit. <laughs> he, Todas! <laughs> Captain just says as he looks at it, I, uh... I think this is either a clear highlight or the lowest point ever, but I'm not sure yet. I know I'm not going to share this story though. Oh, this is great. You can just say it's a god war. And look, no one tried any cannons or anything, so no war cry. We're good. Let's let's get out of here. Now You're they like know the we know, they probably scream. won't jump us. I think, the, the maybe. The loudest scream of Evara. <laughs> <laughs> like you see, uh, like uh, you see, uh, you, you see a, um, you see multiple fish like uh, swimming away, like the, uh, you can see from afar at some point that she's screaming, but you can't hear it because the tone is too high. <laughs> and then her br voice just breaks in anger. <laughs> I, uh, I uh, think we broke her. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> uh, here's another piece of cheese, Larry. Ah, thank you, Mama's cheese. And with that, you I'm might be growing on me if you keep stuff like that up. <laughs> I just have to practice dancing. Do you want to do that stuff too? Come with nope. me to the lower decks. No, 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 no. Come on. I'll come leave on. it to the master. I'll leave it to the master. I, I have my own stuff I do. Sometimes I'm not around. Then you have to be able to do it. Uh, uh, nope. Sorry. I'm a dance master. Just go. Well, if you change your mind, I'm on the lower deck. He is a handful. What? He is. <laughs> so, 
so. But I'd say this was worth it. Oh, for sure. <laughs> no, I don't even want to kill her now. I just want to, like, make her suffer all her life. <laughs> wow. That's some vindictive shit. What did she do to you? Well, Captured us as slaves. That's true. Yeah, and slave. She's been chasing us for months now. Couldn't get us in grackle steering because within like three days we were thanes, so. 37 yep. days total. Yeah, it feels like months. Feels like months. You stay alone? What's that? As you are talking, a uh, a rock falls down on the ship. Oh God! A green rock, <laughs> small, green rock. right next to uh, between uh, Safkarov, Krognar, and Jamira. Hi, right dear. A green rock. Oh god, I hope it's not a green Larry. A poke it. Falls there, it irradiates. <laughs> as green mists come from it. Very short burst. Safkarov, Krognar, and Jamira. You can make me mm. charisma saves. Oh god, not this again. As Baroon nope. and... Uh, Captain Caro are too far away from it. Oh lord. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I trust someone to take care of me in my old dementia state. Alright. Let's see. Safkarov. Yep. This is your ship. And all these other people are not allowed to be on this ship. And they should be removed as quickly as can from this ship. Oh, God. All right. So we going into initiative then? Yes, yes. Uh, all right. First for uh, Grognar as well. Grognar. Yes. Alright. Uh, you think the bottom of the Dark Lake would be a beautiful sight to see. And it would be a crime, like a horrible crime, to everyone around you if they do not see it. That would be like the worst thing ever. <laughs> Now you may roll initiative. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Sad Goth, why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> oh, get off my ship. Excuse me? See him going a little crazy and his eyes wiggling a bit. Oh god, not again. Oh shit, here we go. Uh. Burn cock, not restrain him. <laughs> Alright then, Safkarov, you are first! Safkarov cracks his neck as he walks towards Jamera. Uh. Well. I will rage, and then I will attempt to throw Jamera off the ship, far as I can. Alright, athletics chick versus Jamera's acrobatics or athletics. Okay, here we go. Oh, 21. No. Oh, hey! Oh. Cool. Gotcha. 
catch you in a headlock. I'm like, just get off! It's not your uh, ship. Darn it! Is that my nice. whole action? I know because uh, an, uh, grapple check is uh, is an attack action, so you can do it again. I do it again. Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. Damn, you're slippery. <laughs> What's on you? Like I said, Fafnir is tough to be practice with soap. Alright, so uh, that, that is my action then. I only have two attacks. Alright, Baroon, your turn. Did you fix your hit points, Baroon? You have multiple long rests. Well, alright. Um. Yeah. I'm. Do I see that Kirk Nor is going insane? Uh, not yet, because uh, let's see uh, his photo. No, you don't see it yet, although you clearly see that Safkarov is going insane. Okay. One, two, three, four. Okay, I'll walk over here and I'll try to restrain Safkarov. Alright, athletics check. <laughs> uh... Tied. Oh. Tied, so nothing happens. Darn. Yeah, that's my turn. Alright. The captain is like, the hell are you guys doing? Some sort of weird group hug? <laughs> Rocknar, your turn! We need to go to the bottom of the sea! Uh, what are you on about? The... Where do you think I'm sending you? Uh, it's great. No, it's actually terrible. That is great. <laughs> I'm having fun. <laughs> and I, uh... Who's... Who's this, this again? Jumeira and Baroon. Or, uh, Safkarov. Safkarov's the one, uh... On the left of you. Blue circle. Uh, uh beard. Come on down. Jamara. Jamara. Ah, Jamara. Uh, I, I will try to grab over Jamara and uh, throw him, throw him overboard. No, no, no. <laughs> There's no consent here. <laughs> Grapple then, or so athletics checks. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh god. <laughs> so I have him and uh, I think that will be a. Uh, then I uh, want to uh, throw him on board. Another athletics check to see if you uh, officially make him uh, fall off for it. This one, uh, Jamera has to uh, resist with athletics. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, oh snap. Oh, natural 20, you get some honor from it too. And the natural it's not 20 a nat. beats. Uh, beats at 23. So basically, you're still grappled and, uh, and he tries to throw you, but you just like grip on his arm. Like, no, 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 no! <laughs> and he, as he starts waving to try and get get you into the water. <laughs> now it is your turn, Jamera. Right. Um, still grabbed. <laughs> yes. Ah, oh, boy. <laughs> I will cast enlarge. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> And I'll try to gain some proper footing to resist and inspire Baroon. <laughs> also say the captain. Captain, we gotta knock these two out. They're gone crazy. <laughs> them crazy kids. See you, madness. <laughs> See you, madness. 
<laughs> just, just knock him out. If you can. That's all I got. Brewing nerd inspired. Safkaroff's turn. I will rage again because my rage ended. Mm -hmm. Move over if you want to see the sea so badly. Here! And I try and shove him overboard. <laughs> 17. You can beat a 17, can't you? We will. Oof. Not. Better not. As you fall. A couple of feet into the water, you take three falling damage. Alright, big guy, you're next. I'm going to try and tip him over into the water. <laughs> 18. Oh no. Overboard! <laughs> Mira also falls into the water. <laughs> and also takes three falling damage. And I wish there was another save to this stuff. <laughs> uh, that's my turn. Alright. Then Baroon, your turn. Uh... <laughs> okay, I'll still try to, try to grab the Zagroth. I have the strength to do it. I do not have the strength to do it. You do not have the luck to do it. <laughs> As the grapple fails. I can do two, right? Because I've got two yep. attack action. Okay. Uh, do you have extra attack? You have extra attack with your Oh, attack? sorry. No, no, never mind. Never mind the last one. I forgot. I'm so used to being a class that does have one. Okay, that's sorry. Fine. Never mind. Uh, that's my turn. Free action cry. <laughs> Alright, that is Captain Caro's turn. Arr! You think you can be throwing people off of my ship without me permission? <laughs> Your ship? I'ma throw you off my ship, yeah. And he Think so, huh? He, 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 he takes the, uh... He takes the wheel. And, like, starts turning it in very fast. And I would like you to make an acrobatics check. Boop. Oh, damn. Good on you. Let's see. Yeah, you're still on the ship. As the ship is now turning on, uh, is turning around in, in, uh, a, uh, uh, in barrel rolls. Dual barrel rolls. Rocknar! What? You're in the water! With Jamera! Jamera needs to see the bottom of the water! Uh, this is a horrible combination! <laughs> Please, no! <laughs> uh, Just imagine what would have happened if all of you had failed. Uh, this is true! Giant bite! Oh god. <laughs> Why not? Zip. <laughs> and uh and I try and I try to grab away man uh Sing together Please be gentle <laughs> Okay three I I need to be that <laughs> Oh fuck yeah, please Twenty-three. Well, it's not a natural one. Ah, fuck. If it was a natural one, he would have. <laughs> <laughs> As, uh... Well, uh, you're going down, uh, ten feet. <laughs> ten feet underwater, Jumeira. <laughs> now to keep track of your time underwater. Hold your breath up to a minute, plus your con, I believe? Or your con in minutes? Uh, I, I minimum forget. of 30, uh, if you have a plus one to your con, uh, you get oh, one minute. Uh, 
two minutes if you have plus two. And for every plus on your health, that's how many minutes you have. But if you have a negative on your uh, con, the minimum amount that you can hold your breath would still be uh, 30 uh, seconds. Quite a few rounds, at least. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got something. I can work here. Alright. Jumera, your turn. So you're 10 feet underwater now. I use a verbal component underwater. I lose breath, right? Yes. Or, how, or is it not possible in the first place, right? Or what? Uh, you lose breath. Yeah, I'll cast the sky self. And make myself look like Kroknar. I'll just look at him and point up like, Oh, well, we gotta get those others. <laughs> uh... oh, I'm trying. <laughs> That is all I got. <laughs> Alright. Uh, roll me a d20 to see how many seconds it will cost you. Oh god. <laughs> so officially you've been uh, now 22 seconds underwater. With uh, also yep. this round. Yep. That's all I got. I can only hope Kroknar let the ghost to get more people. We'll see uh, what happens in Kroknar's turn. Zafkarov, your turn. So, do I just want people off the boat, or do I want to keep people off the boat too? Uh, you're the only one that's allowed to stand on the boat. Good enough. Go over here. You get a Naop attack if you wish to take it. Uh, yeah, I do. Take it. Uh, oh. That will miss. My rolls. <laughs> Alright, listen here, you squid faced fucker. Pack him up. <laughs> Yeet! <laughs> I will rage again. <laughs> Wee! 16. Grr, you not be getting me off my boot! <laughs> Other boot. Come on, that's funny. Ah, boot! <laughs> and uh, take the wheel and start turning away from everybody. Oh. <laughs> Alright. That would... No, you already used your action. That would be an action with a vehicle's check. Alright. Then that's my turn. Alright. And Baroon, your turn. Uh, this is all going to shit. <laughs> I'm about to say oh, we can boat. <laughs> my boat. I want to... Run over here and try to push him off the boat. No one gets the boat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, you the get the boat. boat then. Oh yeah, that's true. Uh, I gotta got be crazy too. Can you do it? Can you dethrone me? <laughs> oh god. No. Uh, um. You want to put some honor on it? It's probably your best shot. Well, yeah, <laughs> sure. Yeah, I put a uh, D6 D six on, on it. On it so. Yeah, but I'm not gonna. That's the difference. And of course, it it's a fucking yes. one. That happens with all the auto rolls. Don't worry. Oh uh, yeah, well that's a that's a that's a none for me then. Well, that's my turn. Oh, you are inspired, by the way. You have a D8. That's all. That's all. Oh yeah, you want to roll that now? Yeah, sure, sure. No, no, I gotta win this. There it is. Yeah. As uh, Saf. Falls into the water, taking one damage. <laughs> okay, so... My rage continues! <laughs> uh, right, now what? At least that's my turn, I will think over what I will do next. Now it's Captain Caro's turn. As he will... Uh, use his movement to get on his ship. 
and he's going to use the remainder of his uh, uh, he's going to use his action to move his ship a little bit to the downside he's gonna run you over oh you you guys are below water so I'll what see. happened is There you go. <laughs> that is his turn. Rocknar, your turn. So, let's see. You, uh, Jumera uh, now has changed into size of you and has made a uh, sign. Uh, Looks like me. You can uh, roll me a d4. On a 1 and a 2, you go with his idea. With a uh, 3 and a 4, you're like, Well, the sight down there is so beautiful, I should share it with myself. Oh, God. I no. share it with yourself. <laughs> I share it with myself. So, I just keep crumbling uh, and... Uh, Swimming down. Swim, swimming down. You're both now 35 <laughs> feet down. I'm so sorry. You're gonna have to get out of there somehow, Jamir. All the spells in the world. I can't last in melee. <laughs> Got one that I like the Jamera, wind out of him. Your turn. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to cast Invisibility on myself, which is also Concentration, so it could show cause me to drink. And let's hope there's nothing that needs to be seen down there. <laughs> oh, <laughs> man! I get the oh, lights. man! <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. <laughs> the D20 for breath. How am I rolling high on that? <laughs> Roll 20 curse, man. 35. Uh, you have now spent officially uh, 47 seconds underwater. Okay, okay. So hopefully, this will help next turn. Because that's all I can do. Safkarov, they're mutinying your ship. You should get them off it. I'm already on it. I use my dolphin swim speed, and I'll just try and make a jump straight up to the ship. Yeet. Yep. 40 sp uh, that speed. Yeah, that's no problem. And uh, I took damage, so I don't have to worry about raging this round. I will try and throw the captain back off. I don't want to mess with my steering wheel. Using charger or... Uh... Nope. Just normal. Right. I don't get to a text phase charger. I know because you 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 moved forty feet. Don't you have to I know, I have a uh, ring of swimming. I can move oh, forty yeah. feet. Okay. It's got a swim speed of forty. <laughs> yeah. And he back in the water. And look at Jamera the traitor. <laughs> Not Jamera, uh Baroon the traitor. oh that's a crit. Can you crit? Uh, Baroon? There's nothing that Baroon can do about that even if he crits. Well, isn't it that you ultimately win, so I... Or yeah, is it yeah, that yeah. if I throw a crit, that's always saved? And, uh, Defenders no, win because, ties, uh, but... because your modifier is probably lower than a plus 8 if you crit. Yeah, Plus you get some armor so if you crit. Yeah, the only, uh, you could only... Uh... Hey, there's 21 I needed last round. Pretty crit, that's pretty close. So, Luckily, uh, Varun is uh, not close enough to the sides to actually be thrown off. So you have him true. grappled. I will position him over here then. And that'll be right. about it. That's my turn. Varun, your turn. <laughs> okay, I'll try to push him off again. He actually grappled though. So, if you push him off, you're going to fall off, too. <laughs> mm. And 
be together. Yes. Yeah, that's true. At least that it has something. <laughs> so you're but both still mind. on the ship. That's my turn. The captain is going to use his movement to get back on the ship again. And he's going to try and shove Safkarov off the ship. That's bad. God, and it is. Krognar. Jamera has disappeared. But you can see Baron okay, hanging there. Sense. And he should see the bottom of the ocean as well. Yes. And our plane sense, so I... S oh, yeah. In that what? case, you can still see Jamera. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, Rune Knight has blindsight. I completely forgot. No. Things I should have learned about <laughs> told Jamera. <laughs> that's not the Rune Knight. That's not the feature of a Rune Knight. Wow. That's just for fighting. Style. You're kidding. It's dope, you fighting style. Fighters just have blind sight. Wait, what? It's yeah, a new from, fighting uh, style. From Tasha's. A new fighting style. Oh, <laughs> I, didn't kidding, know, I, I didn't know that I would use it to kill, to so, kill uh, myself. Yeah, well, you're not at the bottom <laughs> yet, so uh, uh, another 25 feet, huh? So that's... Uh, yes? You guys are now 60 feet underwater. This is gonna get bad real quick. <laughs> I'm about to run off with the boat, and this guy's drowning Jamera. What the fuck are we doing? Uh, he's also do? technically drowning himself now, but. I just want to say that I blame all of you for this. <laughs> it's not my fault. <laughs> okay, okay, make okay. The I, save. I, st I, st I still got plans. I still got plans. you off the boat. <laughs> yeah, Jibera, it is your turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Sending to Baroon. Yeah, Baroon. I'll say, get chuck that green stone or do something with it. It caused this. Go D20 for the minutes or seconds. Okay. Yeah, you burn, you got that message. Now. Would you like to reply to the message? Uh, yeah, I say I will see what I can do. Uh, that's that's all I can do. Uh, actually, is there a chance I can inspire him through the message <laughs> or not? Uh, you need to be able to hear someone, but you hear him in their head. So I'll say sure for the rule of cool. Inspired, uh, Baroon. Okay. Then it is Safkarov's turn. Rage is now gone again, so I'm rolling in normal. I'm gonna start spinning and try and throw you for distance, though. So. See how far I can shot put you. Wait, me or the captain? You. Oh, okay. You're yeah. the one I have grappled, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh... That's a 13. I'm and gonna go flying, I guess. Goes into the water. Oh, God. As Captain's up next. More falling damage. Oh, four. As the captain goes down as well. Whoop! Now is the st ship's steering wheel still going down? Uh, it's still there, but it's not really moving that much now. Okay. Uh, that's my turn. Alright. And Baroon, it is your turn. Uh, well, I guess we try to shim, swim towards this ship again. So, one, two, three, and 
How much movement is climbing aboard again? Uh, to get on the, sh on the ship, it's your full movement, unless you have a climbing speed. Okay. Um, yeah, it's that's like one thing dash. I dash. Uh, no, I used the dash to already move three spaces because of half movement. Ah, so then, uh, yeah, then you don't have enough. Uh... Okay, that's my turn. Captain's turn. The captain climbs up on his ship and just says, "Are you not be taking me, ship?" As he tries to scimitar attack, uh, going to try and do a full attack action on Safkarov. All I'm right. Sick of something like this. I'm not using my shield, so you got a 15 to beat. With a scimitar and daggers. Hits. 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 Not raging, so 16. All damage. 21 damage total. Takes me down to. So from 27 is not one that. That'd be the biggest disrespect to a captain you'd ever see. Taking their ship. Grr. <laughs> Rocknar, your turn. Time to sink even lower? Yes. All right. 85 feet underwater. 85 what? <laughs> He's dashing with you grappling. Uh... All right, Jamera, your turn. You've now been four rounds underwater. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Uh... You gotta try to escape this time. Oh man. Try to act my way out. Eh. Okay, okay. Yes. Woo! And I'll start swimming up. To 10 feet. Mm -hmm. Good job! I to escape. Movement. That is all I got. I don't know if Crocnar gets attack of opportunity. I don't, I don't know how he's. I don't know how possessed he is. Well, uh, Grognar doesn't want to hurt you. He just wants you to okay. uh, see the bottom of the sea. So. Uh... So. Can I try to grapple him then again? Uh, yeah, you I don't think you can grapple on attack of opportunity. No, I, I think it's only one yeah. you can attack action. Yeah. All right. Then I, then I, uh, then I do nothing. It would be horrible if, uh, would be horrible if Grognar had Sentinel. Oh my god. Me. Oh no, I don't have Sentinel, I have Polar Master. What the difference? Yeah, I'm yes. still fucked, I'm just slightly less fucked now. Mm -hmm. That is all. Swim faster, man, swim faster. Alright. Do it, I can. Safkarov, your turn. Well, I'm gonna try and shove him off again. <laughs> well, he has to crit to block that. And the crit on the wrong side as he falls in the water again. Alright. This fucking guy. Well, I have another attack action, but I need a full action to operate the wheel. Hmm. Crap the wheel. Grapple the wheel. Uh, I don't really actually know what I'm gonna do with this. I don't want to hurt anybody. I just want him off my ship. So if I did want to hurt somebody, it would have been over a long time ago. So oh, yeah. that's my turn. That's my turn. Rune, your turn. All right. Um, I'll use my full action to climb aboard. A half move and your full movement. You're oh, sorry, full the, movement yeah. to climb aboard. Uh, and bonus action dash towards the stone. Can you do this bonus action? 
sorry, what? Can you, can you bonus, bonus action, action dash? dash? Are you a rogue? Uh, like full action dash, full action dash. There you go. It's all good. Uh, Object interaction, pick up the stone. Oh, yeah. Uh, is that a free action to pick up yeah, the stone? No, 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 object interaction. Okay. Uh, I pick it up and I choke it as far away as possible, I guess, or? Alright. That'll be this side then. I don't know what that'll do. Just hoping it does something. And as it hits the water... Safkaroth. Mm -hmm. You do not feel that this is your boat anymore. And other people oh. are allowed to stand on it. But as the, as the rock sinks, Grognar... You can still clearly see it, and you think oh God. that is some that is some of that beauty that people want to see. I need to, I need to show it to everyone. No. Get my head over the edge. Come get your ass up here. Jamara's <laughs> drowning. <laughs> arr, 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 arr. You do remote again. I think so. I'd Sorry about I that. You. I'd be very rude putting people on their ships like that. I didn't mean it, I swear. First we solve this problem. You. You, you, uh. He moves the ship. He uses his anchor to, uh. He uses his, uh, wheel to, uh. To lower something. Now you listen up. You sure uh, use a full, uh, use that, uh, see that wheel over there? Maintain it to drop the anchor. This will be the first time that I've dropped my anchor on this, on this sea, so be prepared for bad stuff to happen, probably. Uh, Aye, Captain. Right, moved to here. Alright, Krognar. He escaped, so I uh, I want to go to him. Alright. Use your uh, movement action to move closer to him. Yes. How's your blind sight? Uh, 10 feet. Fuck! <laughs> so I still know you, where you are. I mean, I love it, but I hate it. <laughs> it's best timing for the reveal. Dude, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. So... First of... Okay. 20. You can beat a 20. I believe in you. You have plenty of armor. Uh... 15. Ooh. Yeah, let's see. Let's uh, uh, put a d6 on that. Only? Okay. Okay. Matches. No, it doesn't. He has advantage. No, He's big. I you have to beat a 20. Fuck! <laughs> so, so... Stuck again. I was focused on that first number. I didn't see the second one. Yeah. Again, in the bed, Huck. Uh, it hurts. It hurts my pride. <laughs> and, uh... Just thinking. It's back to seven, Back to 85. <laughs> No, he doesn't have the movement to do that because he already used his action. But now That's right. It's uh, yeah. Mara's turn as you are now five rounds underwater. Ah. Total of 70 seconds. Yep, gotta try to break that grapple again. Yeah. You gotta roll, uh. Roll a athletic chronar. turn. Crook? Yep. You're all athletics. Push there you go. As you get some <laughs> honor from it too. Oh, come on. And losing it. <laughs> go ahead and uh, change it. your uh, zero in the red to three so you have more honor. That's all I got. Alright. 
Safgroff! I'll follow Captain's orders. I'll drop anchor. I think All it's over right. here in the middle of the ship. All right, here. Oh, sorry. Boop. Just have to uh, round the wheel. Go ahead and make uh, an athletic. Uh, no, it would be strength check, straight strength. Mm, boop. All right. So the anchor is dropping very fast. I went more force than expected, as you gain some honor from that. As the captain pats you on the back, I've never seen someone do a drop an anchor that well as, uh, as as I've seen you do that. It, it's all in the legs. All right. So the anchor is right above Krognar and Jumeira. And the anchor is going to hit one of them. Can I oh aim God. Krognar? <laughs> Uh, you, uh, Safgarov, you cannot see them because they're in the dark lake. Right. <laughs> Underwater, uh, 75 feet. <laughs> that is well beyond your dark vision, and the uh, water isn't very clear either. Understood. Alright. Uh, but uh, Krognar is the bigger target, so it's more likely that he'll be hit. So on this D4, if I roll a 4, it will be Jumeira, and all the other numbers, it will be Krognar. Oh, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Probably was swimming up, uh, like, up on the top. I uh, just hit Jumeir in the face with an anchor. The anchor goes right in your face. Boom! <laughs> As Jumeir, roll me a d4 for how many rounds you are stunned. Oh, come oh, on! Oh, my god! That does affect my breath. Lord, all right. Four rounds of stun. Gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Damn. All right. Maroon, your turn. Uh. Well, I don't see Chimera or uh, Krugnar. So I guess I will jump overboard and try to fight them in the water. Two, three. Make me a perception check. Oh, good. It's gonna be a very hard one. I'm pretty good at it. Please. Where's perception? It would have been a crit. Does that count? No, of course <laughs> no. not. You have no idea where you where they are, and that was your turn. Yep. Okay. As the captain says, "Yar, hopefully they can uh, Jamera or Krognar can catch the uh, the uh, the uh, the arrow, and then we can lift. Then we can help them lift up back onto the waters." <laughs> Something's being caught. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Krogdar, your turn. <laughs> the opponent's stunned. <laughs> oh, dear God. So, uh, 100 feet down, huh? Good day, yes. Alright. <laughs> That's 100 feet. No. Enough with the math. <laughs> Alright, Jamira is stunned, so can't do anything, but that was, uh, the, that was from the, uh, four is the first one. So that is now six rounds underwater. Safgrov, your turn. So you'll... Ah, I gotta get in there, man. Who knows what's going on down there? Alright, pull three times on the anchor if you want me to pull you up. <laughs> Roger. I'll jump in. I'll start swimming and scanning. Perception, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. Nope, you have no idea. <laughs> Alright, Baroon. Perception check. Uh, 
13. 13, you still have no idea. I swim more towards... Uh, 24. <laughs> oh, the first one. Uh, one two, three. I swim towards... Uh... Don't worry, Jamir. If you die to drown, it's still Somewhere Krupna. against the boat, and that's my turn. <laughs> Captain is going to stand next to the anchor, do a ready action to pull up the uh, anchor uh, if uh, someone uh, does the three times pulling on it. Krognar, your turn! 125 feet! Yes! Mira still KO, now seven <laughs> rounds underwater. Alright. Then it is Safkarov's turn. I can't see them. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, I'll swim deeper. That's my only real option here. Alright. And then Let's make another perception. I'm now 40 feet underwater. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then it is Baroon's turn. Uh, I swim towards this side and then make a perception check. That's my is turn. A noop. Captain does the same thing again. And Krognar, now it is your turn. Going down 150 feet. Damn. Jumeira, the third round, and as you are now. Uh, three round, uh, eight rounds underwater. I think if my math clocks out, 88 seconds. Something like that. Yeah. 40 seconds from spell casting, and then 6 times 8 from uh, the rounds. Yep. Uh, I got 4 minutes, so. Yep. Safkarov, your turn. Same shebang. Swim down, look around. And with a 16, after going down again at 40 feet, you finally see from afar Prognar and Jamira. Jamira not moving. Alright, my action was perception check, so uh, that's my turn. Alright. Varun, your turn. Um, yeah, I roll a perception again. That's oh, you can, good. like, you spot Safkarov, seeing them, and now you know exactly where they are. And I will swim over there, and that's my turn. Alright. Captain Carroll will do that again. And Krognar. Down you go again, huh? Indeed! And you don't even get to finish your entire movement because at 170 feet, you're on the bottom! So, Janira huh? has seen it! The beauty of the underwater! But that's it! That's you seen it! Because he's out, right? Sorry, I didn't hear it. He's. He's stunned, but he's not unconscious. Okay. So, he's seen it now. The beauty, the commitment has been done. And you still have five feet of movement left from your, uh, from your action. What would you like to do? Uh, I can go up again, right? Yeah, you can. Okay. I, I go up. Alright, 
165 feet now. I've seen it. You've seen it. And you see another friend. I don't see him, that. And it is Fair uh, point. Chimera. I think it's the last and round stunned. Yeah, it's the last round, so nine rounds underwater. That's all. Alright. And it is Safkarov's turn. Well, I got 80 feet I can move total if I dash. And more than 80 feet under. I don't know how far it is to the bottom exactly. So. There are 165 feet, so you'd be five feet apart from them. That's within reach. I will stick my dash action, go to the bottom of the ocean, and try and grab Jamir. But that's my whole turn. Alright. I just got him in a bear hug. So yeah, you see uh, Safkarov show up, Krognar now, because he's now pretty close, and he's trying to grab Jamira. But Jamira has now seen the under under underwater, so doesn't really matter. But Safkarov ha hasn't. Safkarov, oh, you need to see it. Yeah. Right, Barun, your turn. I use my full action to uh, go deeper underwater. Yeah, go deeper underwater. All right, Captain. Then Carol that's my will, turn. We'll do the same. Rocknar. So yeah, Jumera doesn't matter anymore, but Safkarov. I mean, I let uh, Jumera go, and I. <laughs> <laughs> and I grab, and I, and I try to grab the uh, shark hold. Alright, make the roll. Pretty sure you can get, oh, I did, no, nah, you can, you're right next to me, you can probably grab me. That's a crit. Yeah, I'm not again. That. And, you still have movement left. So, uh, turn your three into a six, as you now have six on her. And... As you go down, Safgaroff has also seen the bottom of the uh, of the ocean now. So, no problem right. anymore. You don't see anyone anymore that hasn't seen the bottom, so... Everything is fine now, the effect is over. Alright. Now here's the question. Can uh, you guys mathematically make it to the uh, surface without running out of air? Officially the longest uh, person that has been underwater has been Jamera now. With uh, 94 uh, uh, seconds. I can get him to the surface in two rounds. I'm pretty sure. Ragnar also has a decent amount of constitution. So yeah, this is no problem for you guys to get back onto the thing. Yeah, and the captain can even help with lifting up the anchor. Mm -hmm. And with this, the encounter is over. Start swimming like a dolphin, bringing Jamer to the surface so he can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> You're right, buddy. No, I'm not all right. I almost drowned. <laughs> Are you all right now? <laughs> I know, let's just get you. Let's just get you on the boat. I grab the anchor and I tug on it. Why is that always you? Crystal to know now this. It's some weakness, I guess. I don't know. Why are you immune to it, huh? Better question. Fair point, I don't know. Well, uh, no one died this... at least. Could have been yeah, a lot worse. Yeah. Wait, where's the Baroon? Matt, where is Baroon? I'd be on the uh, ship uh, earlier, earlier than you guys. <laughs> hmm. 
work out. I need a nap. God, that was exhausting. Ah, worst thing is, is that's even only the start of the cycle. Well, let's uh, let's get this anchor up, huh? Here, give me a hand. Yeah. Uh, I assume it's enough athletics to get it up again. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not uh, if you just take your t if you unless you want to do it really quickly. Uh, we're in no a hurry. I'll, I'll take my time. Awesome. What'd you say? Sorry. I can go invisible just to try to escape uh, Krocknar, but apparently he still saw me. Yeah. Sorry about that. Wait, that's impressive. Uh, Lucky no one else uh, got hit with that weird stone. I think the only reason I didn't run off with the ship was because of because <laughs> there was just too many you bastards. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, by the way, who dropped the fucking anchor? I did. He'll just point to a bump on his head. <laughs> I couldn't see you. Sorry, man. You were so far deep. I trucked that son of a bitch as hard as I could, though. Yeah. Anyways, something. I think... I think something you could grab it or something. Uh. All is forgiven, though. Thanks. Yar, it be the Underdark. Shit happens. But we saw the bottom. That's yeah, it was a bunch of mud. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what. I don't know why. Uh, why I thought it would would look uh, nice. I'm a. I'm gonna go to bed. Don't have actual beds on this ship. They have hang mats. I go curl up in one of them. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna dry off. If people want to, they can take a short rest. I do. Yeah, why not? I'll take me to full. Close enough. Yeah. Hmm. And finally get You know what that place. was? That was probably karma for throwing Larry at the drow. <laughs> Such a well, thing that's, exists. That's the only sl slap on the wrist we're getting. That's totally worth it. <laughs> you still. Alright. I'll do it three times over if we could. <laughs> yeah. We survived it. Alright, well, on we go for the day. And go further and further. As the Captain Carroll looks at his spyglass again. We'd be having another problem right ahead of us. Oh. You want to take a look? What you got? He gives you the spyglass. Look at me there. A look. You see a uh, large tidal wave going into one direction. And then making a turn towards you guys. 
And huh? then you see what is on on the t on the tidal wave. You see a bunch of Kuatoa on surfboards going right at you. Oh god, spring break. <laughs> la la ga la ga ga la ga. La la ga la ga ga la. La la oh, no. ga la ga la ga. La 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 ga la. They even have pina coladas. Hit the deck! As the Kuatoa, the, the Kuatoa tidal wave comes closer and closer and closer. Almost ready to hit the deck. Then, all y'all notice that the ship is moving. Because uh, right next to your side is a whirlpool. And with that, we'll end today's session. Oh no. Because I think the combat is going to take longer than an hour, and then we're over our, uh... <laughs> Understandable. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I will stop the stream now. What an interesting... Yeah.